the, the message of the Holy Gospel. Joseph and Eliza. Third Sunday of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. Glory to you, O Lord. Now that very day, two of them were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast one of them named cleopas said to him in reply are you the only visitor to jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place in these days and he replied to them what sort of things they said to him the things that happened to jesus the nazarene was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. So, some women from our group, however, have astan astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came, came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the woman had described. But him they did not see. And he said to him, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should su suffer these things and enter to his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. So, as they approached the village to which they were going, gave the impression that he was going on further but they urged him stay with us for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over so he went in to stay with them and it happened that while he was with them at table he took bread said the blessing broke it and gave it to them with that their eyes were opened and they recognized him but he vanished from their sight then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found and gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has been appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. The road is long, the path is narrow, the journey is far from finished. The Gospel narrates a story of epiphany, an illuminating realization. It is an unplanned yet fortunate discovery. The two men who were walking were chatting about the current events, the death of Christ and his resurrection. More particularly, they were debating about whether or not Christ resurrected. They were wondering, did Jesus truly resurrect? Is he alive? Where would he be now? In spite of all the signs they saw, all the parables they knew, all the teachings they have heard, they had not seen Jesus' greatest miracle, which led them to suspect that the whole thing had been a mistake, a lie, a fraud. 
they began to suspect that there was no resurrection, no Jesus. However, the direction of the gospel changed when they had the meal. The two travelers invited Jesus to stay in their home, for it is almost evening. They shared the meal, they broke the bread, then they recognized him. So, what could we learn from this? Many, many things, and one of them is hope. The sight of the Lord enlightened them greatly. In the middle of agonizing situations and disturbing thoughts, a single glimpse from the Lord is enough to convey a sense of confidence and instigate a stronger faith. In life, we don't even realize when our eyes are closed. But from the gospel, may we find hope that Jesus walks with us and, in the end, be enlightened by the sight of our Lord. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless! Bye! Bye.